A Democrat senator now responding to President Trump's demand for his resignation. Just moments ago, John Tester, the ranking member of the Senate Committee on Veterans Affairs, issued this statement, quote, it is my duty to make sure Montana veterans get what they need and have earned. I'll never stop fighting for them as their senator. He's responding to the president's tweet this morning, basically blaming Tester for derailing his choice to lead the VA, Dr. Ronnie Jackson. The president said, quote, allegations made by Senator John Tester against Admiral Dr. Ron Jackson are proving false. The Secret Service is unable to confirm. In fact, they deny any of the phony Democrat charges, which have absolutely devastated the wonderful Jackson family. Tester should resign. The great people of Montana will not stand for this kind of slander when talking of a great human being. Admiral Jackson is the kind of man that those in Montana would most respect and admire. And now, for no reason whatsoever, his reputation has been shattered. Not fair, Tester. What are some of those allegations? Well, they include improperly dispensing prescription drugs, drinking on the job and crashing a government vehicle after a party, and overseeing a hostile work environment. The White House says it has documents that show some of these allegations are false. CNN's Abby Phillips is tracking uh, this story for us from the White House. Obviously, uh, Senator Tester not going anywhere, probably not a, a big surprise, but Abby, this might be a bigger problem for the 2018 midterm elections. Uh, you know, just give us some background uh, on these documents that the president is referring to. That's right, Ryan. The president has been threatening electoral consequences for John T Tester for a few days now, but clearly Tester is unfazed by this, and in part because many of the allegations uh, that are that are out there against Ronnie Jackson are uh, not totally answered by uh, some of the documents being presented by the White House to re to refute them. And now these allegations have come forward not just to uh, to John Tester's committee, the Sen the VA committee in the Senate, but also uh, CNN has. Spoken to multiple sources, current and former colleagues of Ronnie Jackson's, who details a series of behaviors that they believed were inappropriate. Now, going through some of these allegations, uh, some some of the most serious are ones uh, that uh, that John Tester detailed in a document that he released this week about the allegations against Jackson, saying that at one point he was intoxicated and wrecked a government vehicle. Uh, now, th the White House released a document uh, yesterday saying that they looked at the use of government vehicles by Jackson since 2013 and they found three traffic related incidents but none of them appeared to involve alcohol but there were other allegations including that Jackson uh, freely dispensed prescription drugs including sleep medications and pain medications uh, and sources uh, told CNN about uh, those allegations that made some people in his unit uncomfortable the White House released some records about that showing that there were audits over the last several years of the storage of prescription medications but they didn't really address the issue of what whether those prescriptions were appropriately dispensed. And, and finally, there's this issue of a, a, a trip that Jackson was on under President Obama in which he was allegedly drunkenly bang, banging on the door of a female employee, prompting the Secret Service to intervene. Uh, the Secret Service says that they have looked into this and found no records that they intervened, but a source told CNN's Juana Summers that they know, have direct knowledge that the, CIA, uh, the Secret Service Service spoke to members of the White House uh, medical unit about this incident and about Jackson's conduct. So there are still so many questions unanswered about these incidents. Other allegations include uh, that Jackson's uh, conduct within the unit created a hostile work environment. Uh, the, the, the problem here for the White House is that so many of these allegations were not looked into before the president nominated Jackson for this job. Uh, now they're doing some of this legwork only after after he has withdrawn his nomination for the post, uh, the president is hoping that this can be a campaign issue for John Tester. But John Tester is not uh, drawing the rebuke of Republicans. And also, he doesn't seem to be phased at all, as you just pointed out, uh, by the president's threats, Ryan. All right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Abby Phillip, live at the White House with that update. Abby, thank you very much.